Welcome back to Inverted Dudes Plus. My name is CJAM and today we're going to be discussing five tips to help you take better self portraits. And hey, one of the tips that we're going to be discussing today is how to edit your photos using an awesome Lightroom preset from Envato Elements. And you can get this preset and much more photography assets from Envato Elements. So be sure to check out our resource links in this video's description. So the first tip that I want to share with you is choosing your location and identifying the look that you're going for and the purpose of the portrait that you're going to take will ultimately influence the location that you choose to take your photos right whether you want to do an indoor studio shoot with a clean solid color background or if you want to hit the streets for some urban looking street photography or if you want to use a local park like i did next up your poses and your composition I always recommend getting a variety of both. So for my poses, I'll do some smiling shots and some neutral facial expressions, as well as some very serious ones. And for my composition, I always get some wide full body shots, medium portraits, you know, half body portraits, as well as some close ups, more headshot kind of photos. Next up, we have lighting. So if you're shooting indoors, you'll most likely find yourself using some kind of flash strobes or speed lights for lighting or you can shoot outdoors using natural light like I did and you can even use flash strobes outdoors if that's the look you're going for. But whichever method of lighting you choose, you have to ensure that your photos are properly exposed. Next up we have camera and lens choices and I'm a big advocate of using whatever you have access to and if that's your cell phone then go ahead and use it. But if you have access to a DSLR or a mirrorless camera you can choose to use a wide angle lens for a full body shot or a medium telephoto lens like I did for close-up shots and medium half body portraits like I mentioned earlier. For my portraits, I chose to use a 24 to 70 millimeter lens for my full body shots and for my half body portraits and headshot kind of photos, I used an 85 millimeter lens. And with my wide angle lens, I kept my f-stop at 3.2 because shooting that wide, 3.2 would be good enough to get everything in focus. And with my 85 millimeter lens from my closer shots, I chose to go down from f 3.2 to f 2.2 to get that real nice blurry background. And when you're using a lens like the 85 millimeter lens that I used, you'll get less lens distortion, right? That means that when I'm in the frame, in the photo, I won't appear to be slimmer or taller than I actually am, right? And how I took my photos is I just mounted my camera on a tripod and I set up my shot and then I used an app on my phone to take the photos as well as view the photos that I took. But if your camera doesn't have an app, you can go ahead and search for a wireless trigger for your particular camera model and that will also allow you to take your own self portraits. And my next tip is I want to actually show you how I would edit my photos in Adobe Lightroom. So let's hop on over to Lightroom and start editing. All right, so here we are in Adobe Lightroom with my selected photos from my little nature shoot in the park. And I selected eight of them and I just want to run through real quick to show you my selections here, right? So for number one, I'm sitting on my chair. This was the first look that I did. And number two is the same look, right? But the difference is the sun is coming through on number one. Let me show you. See that? I really like these rays of light that are shining through here. And I think I may choose number one over number two. And my next photo is just me looking into the camera and smiling in front of a tree. And the same thing here. I just pulled my hood up and then I have some other smiling ones here. I really like this one. This is number six. And obviously this is the wide shot that I mentioned to you guys that I used the wide lens for, right? And I like this first one, as I mentioned, with the sun rays coming through. So let's just go ahead and edit that one. Let me hit D for my develop module. And if you look over here on the left hand side, you can see I have my teal and orange um, preset here under the presets tab, right? This is what I got from Envato Elements and they gave me 10 different looks in this preset. How cool is that? Let me just show you all of them real quick. So I have the first one here. These are literally one click presets. Look how awesome that looks and I don't have to do anything else, right? Let me show you the second one. See that? 
look how cool these are and all you have to do is just click and apply your settings let me go ahead and choose this first one because i like it and if you can look over the right hand side over here to your adjustments you can see it automatically adjusted all the sliders for you and the only thing i may do here to change this is just zero out the texture and zero out the clarity and just bring down the whites some more and that's all I'll probably do to this. And then what I can do also is go down to my HSL adjustments and then I can just pump up the blues to bring back some color in my jeans and jacket. Pay attention to what's happening here. See that? I can pump up the blues and I can also pump up the greens to bring back some greens in the trees, right? But these are literally one click presets. You saw what happened when I clicked on it. It literally transformed my image for me with a nice urban teal and orange look let me go ahead and hit to y on my keyboard to show you the before and after looks and how cool is this this is where we started and this is where we ended up how it started versus how it's going what do you guys think all right so we have this one edited let's just go ahead and edit one more together right and let's just throw a quick edit on this one here let me go ahead and just choose a different preset from our pack. And this bright one, teal and orange bright, is looking real nice. Let me just go ahead and click that. And you can see it's already perfect. Let me just hit Y for my before and after, right? You can see how cool that looks. That looks very, very cool. Let me just take off the texture and clarity because that's my personal choice. That's how I want my edit to look. And let me just bring down some of the whites and there we have it this is all i'm going to be doing for this edit what did you guys think that was so easy so powerful and so effective using this teal and orange preset and now all i have to do is just export the photos and use them on my social media platforms and remember that you can get this preset that we use today as well as unlimited creative assets from Envato elements such as photoshop actions and even stock photos to really level up your photography so be sure to check the links that we have in this video's description thank you thank you guys so much for watching this video once again my name is c jam and i will see you guys in the next video